So we are looking forward to support that will build our senior high schools so that we can absorb the girls in our community. You don't have to travel far to school. It is so painful that you are in this community. The girls will come from Accra, very far places, coming to school here. When you are here and you have dropped out of school. I have not been to Provo Girls, but I know a lot of ladies who have gone through Provo Girls. Today, when you see them, they are high, 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 high cases. We meet them, Provo is shining. <laughs> Why should you be here? Then somebody in Accra will be saying Provo is shining. Meanwhile, Provo is here. And I even say that as for Provo land, you have produced very good students. Whether Presec, they like it or not, they started from no, your school. So this is an opportunity. There are so many opportunities out there for girls. We don't get girls to get the grade to access this opportunity. Especially girls from rural areas. Scholarships are there, but if you are a girl in the city and the scholarship is there, they won't give it to you. So we have the telephones and the, the, the um, big, big, big organizations having scholarships for girls. But where are the girls to make their grades to assess those opportunities? So they take back their money because they are not ready to support those who have parents who can afford. Those who have parents who are working in these places, they are not ready to give them the support. The support is meant for rural girls. There are opportunities out there to transform your life and you transform your life not only here but future generations because you are able to get to a level that maybe you will give your child education better than what you have. So I am pleading with our ladies here. I say when you see any girl with a child at her back without the support of a man, remember someday sometimes somebody told her I love you. But when the trouble came, she was left alone to carry that responsibility. And we had to learn from other people's mistakes. You have gone through it. Some of you have experienced it. And they will tell you that, excuse my language, it is only when you make the mistake for the first time. Some of you say, first fool is not a fool. But the second one, then you are becoming a big fool. But we don't want it to happen to you again. You've learned your lesson. How many of you are here that you have the support of the men or the boys who impregnated you? As soon as there is pregnancy, they will step aside. I don't know you. And so we will do paternity test. The man can say that I have nothing to do with the pregnancy. Then you carry the shame. You carry the economic uh, uh, issues that come with it. You will have to also carry the pregnancy and the psychological trauma. You are the one who will be going through all this. And at the end of the day, he will turn and be laughing at you. He won't mind you. He will go and look for a girl who is focused and she has gone to a higher level to pursue her education. She doesn't, that person doesn't want to have anything to do with you. So please, let this be a lesson. We won't also let, leave you like that. Whatever support you need, we'll give you. But as I said earlier, it shouldn't be that because we are giving you the opportunity. And so it is a trap card for you to go and get pregnant. And please, the emergency contraceptives. The emergency contraceptives. Let us be careful so that in future you won't brand anybody as a witch. That is the problem. I always say that those who get pregnant, they are those who are not smart. But the smart ones are not getting pregnant because they are relying on the emergency contraceptives. They are not meant for you now. Contraceptives are meant for married couples who want to space their children. Please, now your focus is to study and then be what you want to be in future. Please, the focus is not to engage in relationship. Even when you are protecting yourself not to get pregnant, as for women, we are different from men. As soon as you get into a relationship where you become sexually active, you see a boy with your boyfriend, then your heart is beating. You want to read, you can't read. You want to do anything you can't do. But the boy is not like that. For him, it is sex and it doesn't matter to him. But women are different. So please, let's set our priorities right. 
Either you sacrifice and stay with that boyfriend issue, you read about them, you watch on them on social media, and you watch their telenovelas. Please, sacrifice. Hold on to yourself. You are developing as teenagers. The urge to have sex is there. But let us learn to suppress it so that we will have a better future. And then you have all the freedom to do whatever you want to do. Then if you should encounter any pregnancy, you are even opening your arms to welcome it. And everybody will be happy for you. But for now, sacrifice. Keep yourself. Abstain and focus on your studies. And at the end of the day, you will be the happiest of all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Again, I have a fine. Oh, what can I pay them higher? That's the the person of Mr. Idrisu Adamte just joined us with the wave. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, at this juncture, we are about to bring down the sales on the program. And so we we'll invite our mama, that is Mrs. Florence Dumbate, uh, to give us a closing prayer. Let's clap for her. Amen. Shall we rise up for a word of prayer? Mao Opeme, Mone Obosio, we just go. Wahamo Chumi, Yamuna Ibinohi, Okeke Wafa, Wahawe Nuku, Sinajuno Drumi, Ne Okehe Obime. Nenemene ajega, nenemene ajepano. Me chope abasu ne twin jomi. Wanui yobu kohe. Ne nui chopla ni atomno. Eye em. Nene wachope wa ne deji ka. Wanamosi ni odromi ohe. Papa, bime ne aha me ni keni no. Wanu pe pae ka ona ne ake shio wele. Okay. Uh, I'm 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 okay. Uh, I'